Innovative. Yeah. See the plant plug, everything is stock, it's organic I don't take much to put a seed inside the planet It's way more about what you do after you plan it It's all a cycle, go and cook a plate and snatch it, yeah She got all the needs for your seeds, yeah, yeah Hit the knees, gotta pull out all the weeds, yeah, yeah Don't forget, never be scared of the bees, yeah, yeah She your melanin H-E-Q, I never Ever get tired of the intro? Welcome, everybody. My name is Taylor. Taylor Lindsay. I also go by the plug. I go by the plant plug. I go by cash at plant plug 87 if you're feeling generous. And welcome to the season premiere of our fourth season, the first episode of our fourth season. And if you guys don't know, the person I'm looking to to my right is my amazing, incredible producer. Cool ass Cam, what's good, Cam? Cool ass Cam, you cool know, ass the coolest Cam. motherfucker on the planet. The coolest motherfucker on the planet. Yes, we do swear on this podcast. Welcome to the Plant Plug Podcast. Oh, man, Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! We Cam. are here, and We're we here. are now in the second month of the new year. Damn! Happy Black History Month. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Shout out to Coretta Scott King and Rosa Parks for making it happen. Big ups to Angela Davis. Also, shout out to all the passing people, too. You know who you are. The one drop rule does count, Cam. Am yes. I allowed to say that on the show? Yes. Yes, by all means. Thank you. Okay. I. You know what? I pay for it. So might as well. But I'm so excited. This is the episode where we're going to learn how to garden. Let's, let's okay, do it. Okay, as the plant plug, for people that don't know, I teach gardening. I'm an educator. I'm an educator, and I sell plants and plant accessories. As you can see, I'm accessorized, right? So I always get asked, how do you garden? <laughs> That's the first thing. When people aren't handing me stacks of money, they're asking me, how do I grow my own food? And also, especially, how do I not kill my plants? Well, you're in the right place at the right time. And yes, you want to catch all these strays, Cam, because we're going to teach you. Oh, yes. Let's do this it. This is the gardening episode. And this is my second solo episode. I usually don't do a lot of solo episodes. I think it's very important to have conversations with yourself. By the way, if you hear me talking to myself in my room, I am having a business meeting and you should mind yours. I'm constantly talking to myself. I'm also boss and CEO and I'm a client and the player president of the Plant Plug. LLC, by the way. LLC. Stop playing on my. Stop playing with my name. Put some respect on it. I do have the trademark and I have the LLC. That's right. Okay, don't play with me. So this is the big one, Cam. This is the big one for them all. We're gonna cover hood winter gardening today. Now, right here on my left, which people can't see because it's out of frame, I have six. Six. I have not been sipping. Excuse me. I have six subjects. I have six topics that are going to change our lives. So where should I start? Tell me to stop, Cam. Stop. For those that can't see at home, they're post-it notes. It's not that big of a deal. We're going to start with water. Water. I got that wet. I got that drip. Okay. I have friends in the room, you guys. I'm not talking to ghosts. Yes, I am. <laughs> Spirit and ancestors are always with us. Speaking of ancestors, you guys, I want to do a land acknowledgement. Have you guys ever done land acknowledgement before? Because we are indigenous stolen land, paying rent and having a credit score on stolen land. Is that not a conundrum? So land acknowledgement. Okay, and water protection, this is Tonga land, as well as other indigenous, other indigenous nations. Did you know they have an app for that? You can actually download an app, and anywhere at any time you could find out what land you are on. Really? Within the United States, yes. What's the name of the app? I will find it for you. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I will Damn, find the I app thought, for you. No, because I was trying to be real Promo slick with deal. it. No, 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 I was trying to be real slick with it. I don't have the app downloaded. I know it exists, but I don't have the app downloaded. I'm not going to pretend like I don't. But if you hear any pings, it's not Grinder. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear any pings, it's Cash App. You know, I like that sound, the dropping of the change. Or OfferUp has that sound, too. So, yes, that's the land acknowledgement. Let's get to the water, you guys. So, we're in the middle of a storm, y'all. We're in the middle of a storm. This is day four of a storm. I just learned about hydroplaning, which is absolutely horrifying. You guys, please slow your roll while you're out there in those mean Los Angeles Have you ever hydroplaned in a car before? No, I haven't, but I have ghost ridden the whip. I've done, have, I've done both. I have <laughs> gone dumb a couple times. Yeah. I have been to a in couple the rain. Side, in sideshows. Am, am I trying to die? No. You, no. Why would I? Okay, there's this thing called the Darwin Awards, and I don't want one. Oh, man. 
I'm not whipping nothing in the rain. When I got my first car and I was learning how to drive, uh-huh. I went to, uh, I want to say it was like Cerritos Mall parking lot. Not Cerritos. In the mall. In the, it, like, it was empty. It wasn't nobody there. It was already right. closed. But it was raining. So I was like, damn, it's a lot of open space. Oh, fuck it. We just turned the music up in the car, got out, started What song running. were you playing, Cam, when you were breaking It was mall? probably like some E-40, like some Tell Me Where To Go or something. Okay, like, it was definitely some hypey shit. It was around that time. You know, you know, you know where time. I'm coming from? R.I.P. Mac Dre. So when it comes to water, my biggest thing when it comes to water is of course protecting it i talked about water protection because water is a precious resource but also collecting it so what a lot of people don't know is that when it comes to gardening there's various practices in agriculture so we're trying to bring all that in because we're never getting our 40 acres in a mule cam it's not going to happen sharecropping was the biggest scam next to slavery some Some people did we're not going to talk about that because i'm not happy where we're at right now as a people until we're all paid and all free none of us are paid and free (laughs) until all of us are. And by us, I mean black people. So uh, when it comes to water, water preservation is very, very important. Let's start by saving the water. Of course, we know about turning it off. Um, A lot of our water does not come from Los Angeles, you guys. If you are in LA, you're not getting your water from Los Angeles. Um, We are importing water from three different places and we are draining their resources horribly. We can start with rain barrels. Rain barrels, my best friend. And a bucket five dollar holler okay you don't have to do anything strange for a little bit of change when collecting rainwater. you can just go to home depot or lowe's depending on what you're on and you can either get that blue bucket or that orange bucket and just put it outside and watch the magic happens because i put my bucket outside and i've already gotten about f- four inches of water pure clean water and let me tell you why rain water collection barrels bins and basins are so important and also did you know i am the plug so what kind of plug would I be if I didn't hook it up the secret to affordable rain barrels is not buying them on Amazon or from Crate and Barrel because aesthetics just make everything so expensive Coca-Cola syrup barrels the factory is constantly getting rid of them because they're a food product they're a food waste product you know what I'm saying not actual food but what we use to make food right Mm -hmm. so you know like as a chef or somebody clean you throw your stuff away when you're done with it Coca-Cola technically is food under food to beverage if you want a gigantic rain barrel Get one of their used syrup containers, cut out the top, and drill in a colander or a salad shaker, Mm. salad drainer. That will strain out any leaves, any sediment that would come through, and you will end up with gallons. Because those things are like, what, 40, 60 gallons a piece? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I know this because I have one. Oh, I got one. Ingenuity. And also, there's an organization called Scope LA. They're doing rain barrel giveaways. 311, 211, amazing resources. I'm telling you. If I can't get it for you myself, I know a guy, but you don't have to go very far because I am that guy and I can get you everything you need. So there's the resource 311211, you guys, and also rain barrels. Now, this is the thing about water, saving water. Rainwater is not drinkable, you guys. Do not start drinking it. You do have to go through a purification system. You can either purify it through, there's different methods. Please don't use bleach. You should not be drinking bleach. There's charcoal. There's so many different filtrations. I got to move on to the next subject. Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Now, rain water collection is very important. Let me tell you. Our tap water is treated with chlorine and another type of chlorine, two different types of chlorine. And because of that, it kills living microorganisms in our soil and also helps, actually stunts the roots from getting everything they need and the plant thriving. So if you ever have a plant that's not really doing the best, it's actually an outside plant, put in the rain for a couple of days and see how it's going to do afterwards. It will be busting with blossoms. Busting. Busting. Bursting with blossoms. Because that rain, that water does not have chlorine in it. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I'm getting really thirsty. Bursting. Speaking of thirsty. <sniffs> my thirst today was murdered by liquid death. Thank you. You're welcome. Did I get the shot cam? Yes, you did. Okay, thank you. Yes, okay. You did. All right. So actually that that stuff's amazing. I love Liquid Death just because if you guys haven't read the can yet, that is the most metal description, the most hardcore metal description I've ever read on the side of a bottle. But at the same time, they are huge on being anti plastic. They are part of the anti plastic movement. That's why it comes in the can. But it also looks cool if you're trying to fit in at a party. Yeah, I thought it was a beer at first. Shout out to Liquid Death for saving all us awkward sober people. Or something like a yes. Four Loco or something mm. like that, you know. Don't get me started on Four Loco. Have you ever called the police on yourself? 
<laughs> you <laughs> don't get me started for a local. Oh my god. So that's what we're doing with water camp. Craig, we are come quick. Craig's in trouble. <laughs> Whole time you Craig. Oh my god. So that's for collecting rainwater. It can have. It can be a basin, a bucket, a barrel. Take advantage of the God-given precious resource that's so so gracefully sprinkled upon us. Now, when it comes to watering your plants, speaking of indigenous acknowledgments, there's a practice that goes back hundreds of years and it was watering. We can't all water all the time, every day. There are fines for that. Remember they were finding people for yes, that? It was, yes. Yes. It was like heart, a, uh, the drought was going on. I think Kim K got fined 32.5. Yeah, for her pool and lawn. That that's just a, that's just an hour of work. You just got her, the though. sprinklers on yeah. all day. But she 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 could afford that. But I, that's a re, like that. She got fined thirty two k for. You had to pay that water, water bill and you had to pay nothing. that fine. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing for her. She's like, okay, whatever. I'm a billionaire. I don't care. Um, but for the rest of us, blue collar folk, uh, and we and for the rest of us, law abiding citizens, we're gonna try to water the best we can because we don't want to kill our garden, but we don't want to get into the space to where. <sighs> The DWP is knocking at your door. An indigenous practice was using oyas. So this is actually an oya. It is a clay gourd. Gourd. You guys know what a gourd is? A gourd is a squash. Okay. Does this? This looks like a gourd, right? Pumpkin. Uh, there is. There's a goo. There's a swan neck squash, which is gorgeous. It's actually shaped like a goose. And uh, butternut, acorn squash. That's what it, the squash. shape. Yeah, that's what this I. Giving squash, wow, right? Yeah. Yes, some people look like this when they get like out of the shower. Like a butternut squash. We love all body types here on the Play Play podcast. So this is an Oya. <laughs> so this you actually bury to the up to the neck, and you put only water in this. This is an indigenous practice where the water is drawn through the pores of the clay pot through the plants themselves. Is that not life? Is that not living? Is that not beautiful? So this is an Oya. This is the company Grow Oya. This is where I get mine from. And you only have to take these out and overwinter them. What was that? You only have to take them out and overwinter them, meaning that you prep them, you clean them for winter about twice a year. So these are all gonna go in my garden bed and they come in various sizes. This one comes in three different sizes. I have the large one because I'm a whole lot of woman. And it has just been such a game changer, especially during the summer where it's it's just a microwave outside so this has definitely been a game changer and i'm really 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 appreciative of the indigenous folks that bought us this original digital electronic free technology i appreciate that so that's water all right cam tell me when to stop I'm on the next topic on the next subject I will stop okay uh, back to <laughs> the life-changing topics we got five topics stop. left that was a little delay all right seeds ah! Cam, I'm Cam, I'm getting a call. I think we're getting a call. I might answer. Oh, hello? <laughs> yes, this is she. Hello? Yes. Yes. I, hold on, hold on. I can't I can't hear anybody over all this money, Cam. Oh, this is a man. stack of seeds, people. What are we growing? What are we growing? What are we growing? What we got going? You know what I'm saying? I can't hear y'all over all this money. <laughs> this is Renee's garden seeds. I love Renee's garden. So these are Renee's garden seeds. This is a stack of seeds if y'all want to see what I'm working with. Have you ever seen a rack of seeds before? No, I haven't. You know you've seen a rack? I know y'all be rolling with racks up in here. Shout out to Innovative Culture, the richest people in town. Hey, man, don't tell them that. Me. <laughs> Rich in spirit, you guys. Don't. <laughs> uh, if anybody comes knocking with the shiesty mask, I did not drop a pin, Cam. I promise you. <laughs> all right? So yeah, Renee's garden. So these are actually all, these are flowers. Oh, wow. These are all are flower sunflowers. Y'all want to check it out? Take a look. You got sunflowers. Making it rain, baby. These clouds aren't the only oh. one that make it rain. I'm mean with it, and I mean it. I got sunflowers. I got these dancer bo sun dancer sunflowers. I got red velvet. I got cone flowers. I got everything. <laughs> the, the leaves <laughs> are velvet. What is that velvet? The leaves are velvet. The leaves are real soft around here. Skin so soft, leaves so soft, real soft. You know what I'm saying? So I want people to start collecting seeds. I want people to start saving seeds. I want people to start passing out seeds. I want people to take seeds from their bell peppers, from their apples. Peaches and cherries are a lot harder because they're stone fruit. But I want people to save their seeds. Now, the easiest way you can actually save your seeds if you're not going to buy them. By the way, you can buy seeds. Seeds with EBT, y'all. 
can. You could buy fruit and vegetable seeds with EBT. Yes, oh, you can. Because it's not hot food, right? It, it's not hot food, it's and technically food, it counts so. as a food. Yes, counts you could as buy. A food, but it's not a hot and food. And also, you can use your EBT t- card like a credit card on Amazon as well. Yes, I you know can. Amazon's always in hot water. When are they not being controversial? But people Nonetheless, still in EBT and all that. You think Amazon? They stealing it from Amazon? Like that might be like real. I don't know. That, I don't know. We gotta. We gotta like really. Okay, so I'll. Review I'll that but they we... have a um. They have a security a security clearance that you have to use on Amazon and online and on DoorDash when using your EBT card. Now okay. it's different. Yeah, they they pop Damn, up. Damn, DoorDash uh, take it too. DoorDash takes EBT now too. I, I, I need people to eat, please. Are y'all eating? Yes. But okay. I didn't know that they took EBT. We need we need access. This is, this whole show is about food well, access and dismantling store, white right? supremacy. Yeah, if you're doing a grocery the, you store know order. what I'm saying? This whole show is about food access. So yes, DoorDash does take EBT for Aldi specifically. Uh so buying seeds is one thing, okay? We already got that. Saving seeds is another thing. Pumpkins are the easiest to save seeds. Now, when saving your seeds, you're like, what do I do and how do I do it? Okay, this is what you do. You pull the seeds out, you rinse them off, and you wrap them in paper towel. And you let them dry in the sun. That's it. This is this is sent to me by a follower. I really appreciate you. And they actually labeled it for me. Um, these are orange ta- orange cherry tomatoes. So what they Ooh. did was they squeezed the tomato out on the paper towel and dried it. That's it. That's how easy it is to save your seeds. Now the viability, viability, viability is a very big word. That just means the amount of life in something. How viable is something? How how viable is the seed? Meaning how much life is in the seed, meaning how likely is it to sprout when I plant it? Because we all did that thing in kindergarten when we planted those apple seeds right. with the story of Johnny Appleseed, who is not a real person, by the way. Yeah. And we had, our, we had our souls crushed because it didn't sprout for a lot of us, if at all. So did you know you're supposed to put your apple seeds in the refrigerator for a month before sprouting mm, them? That's a lot now. It's called stratification. That's why it didn't work. That's why I'm here, everybody. I'm living the childhood dream. So yes, this is one of the easiest ways. And your seeds can last, I've heard up to two years. I've heard up to six how months. Many, how many seeds would you say are on that um, There's there? about 30 on each paper towel and there's six paper towels in here. So look how much room this takes up, but look how I could start a farm with this. Now out of all of those, how out of the 30, how many do you think will sprout? Now the germination one? on this, it's, um, I would give this probably a 50% germination rate. Oh, that's a paper towel? Yeah, it's a paper towel. Yeah, it's on paper towel, yeah. But it's multiple paper towels multiple because it's... Multiple six paper towels yeah. smashed. Yeah, it's on paper towel. Yeah, it's on paper towel. It's a Ziploc full of paper towel. It's a Ziploc full of paper towel. We, uh, no, no, we no, over no. here doing baggies. It's okay. Don't be scared. No, but you could definitely get a lot um, Don't out, be of, scared. out of what's there, you know? Yes, and, sir. Uh, if they all sprout, it's like, damn, you winning, you know? Yes. And that's the cold part. It's like the jackpot. Damn, that's everything the, So that when I say we're getting this money, this is what I mean, my money. I, I you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a sign of wealth. This is rich. You see how I'm throwing it around and I'm flaunting it, but it's not intimidating. It's real wealth. We're creating, we're, we're clearing the channels to let in the abundance and and then we create these sustaining systems that pay into themselves. Now, I'm not trying to sell you Forex or a dream. I'm trying to let you know that you could have a tomato factory in your backyard or on your balcony or even in your bedroom. And that could be a hustle, too, if you are to monetize your hobbies, which I tend to attend, don't recommend. Yes, we have a question from within the room, everybody. Yes. Do you want to tell everybody what your name is and where you're from? OK, don't have to. Anonymous. Next we love anonymous. anonymous. Mr. Anonymous. Mr. Anonymous. So I heard that seeds are trademarked by one company. So if you start a farm with such seed, then they can come take your crop. Yes. You, is that true? You are You are correct. And some of our viewers may be cannabis partakers. So I, this pertains to y'all as well, and especially if you want to get into the industry of that. That's another thing. So seeds themselves can be patented. They can be patented. Uh, just like any invention, because every single plant has the characteristics, right? Some peppers are hotter than others. Some flowers come out purple. Some flowers have fuzzy petals, what have you. So what you do is you can take and make a specific specialty plant with those characteristics, okay? And then you can name it after yourself and you can brand it and you can patent it. So with names, you would get a trademark, right? So say if you had Brandon's Blood Oranges, but your Blood Oranges... Uh, had the, were they grown got extra blood. They got extra blood in them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you could patent that as Brandon's blood oranges. Market it, stamp it, sticker it, whatever. That's what you see with a lot of like bananas. Like Chiquita banana is the biggest Even provider. With peppers too, right? With People do that, do that with too. peppers. Yes, they yeah. can. So there's a Mattapino pepper, which I really, really want to get my hands on. There's a Pepper X, which has not been released yet. 
So yes, you can actually do that. Now the biggest manufacturer, now a manufacturer you'd see is different, uh, is Monsanto. Monsanto is owned by Bayer, which is a pharmaceutical company. Mm. So your pharmaceuticals are mixed up with your food and your agriculture. Does that sound good, Cam? But all of that goes through the FDA, right? Yes. So I and, think that's the why USDA. they did that. The USDA and the FDA are the two biggest um, authorities, we'll say, on food distribution, food production, what have you. So those are the people that everybody kind of has to answer to or filter they, their stuff yeah. through before we move forward, which is important, as well as there are loopholes, though. So... Yes. I never short form answer anything, so I do apologize, but I just want to let you know. So you can actually do that. You can uh, trademark a name of a seed of a strain and you can patent a plant, which nobody else can get. One that's really hard to get my hand, uh, really hard to get our hands on, sumo citrus. Sumo citrus is a combination of three citruses in one. It's supposed to, it's marketed as the best citrus ever, easiest to peel, juiciest, Cutest because it's shaped like a little sumo wrestler. Only people are licensed to grow it in Japan. You have to be a licensed farmer to grow it. And you can't get the seeds. I got one seed and I don't know where I put it. Because it's, it's, it's bred to be seedless. I got one seed and I geeked. But also a lot of food, a lot of food, fruits and vegetables are manufactured to where we can't regrow it. We can't cut it, propagate it and regrow. It, it's, it's part of the game. You know what I'm saying? It's part of the game. But thank you for that question. I appreciate it. All right, moving forward. Seed saving. Oh, yeah, I brought my... The sound you guys are now listening to are my spaghetti seed collection. This is a Martinelli's plastic bottle, I think, or it's a spray bottle. That's wait, how wait, I stored did it. Did you say spaghetti seeds? S spaghetti squash. Oh, spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. I grew a spaghetti squash a year ago, and I saved the seeds, and I dried it, and then I put a cap on it. Yeah, so this is my spaghetti squash seed collection, and that's just from one spaghetti Damn, squash. They kind of like look like pumpkin seeds yeah, a little bit. Yes, they are related and they are edible. Mm -hmm. And actually, did you know pumpkin seeds are great for prostate health? Get your booty hole right, you guys, with pumpkin seeds. Okay, so that's where the prostate is. All right, so <laughs> moving on, hey, Cam. You know. Next topic. Next topic. Let's make it happen. Uh, oh, soil. You're on a roll. You're on a roll, Cam. Uh, we're going in order today. I thought we weren't. I thought we were going to be all over the place, but I thought we are. We're on a roll. We stay loyal to the soil. Speaking of E40, shout out to A40 for giving that that gem, giving us that gem. We stay loyal to the soil over here, Cam. Loyal to the soil. We stay mad loyal. I'm so loyal to the soil. Oh, my God. I, I've eaten so much dirt on accident the last couple of years. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> whew, our soil is not nutrient dense, and that's the issue. That's the issue. That's the problem at hand. And like I said, when it comes to soil, usually when I think of soil, I think of land. Okay. And we can trace, oh gosh, we can trace back to the motherland if we want to. And we can just go through the whole ringer with politics and why we don't have access and yada, yada, yada. But I really like to meet people where they're at and I want to be as present as possible because one thing about Black History Month, Cam, is... I don't know if you've ever seen Roots or Color Purple, but you will definitely be they reminded a, of it. Yeah, they made us you will definitely. Roots. Oh um, my God! They made me watch. Grade, I want to say it was. I was. I was. Ten, I was ten. But they only showed us the first like two parts. I think it's five parts. Yeah. Uh, up until like we didn't see Chicken George and all that. You Chicken. Know? Like, they didn't. They didn't show us all that. I had to find out about that later in life. <laughs> I had to go and watch all of that on my own yeah. and think like, the, damn, what the keeps, hell is but the going thing about They got a daddy from Good Times in there playing yeah. Kupta Kente. Mm -hmm. You know, like. They, they got, um, they have uh, Lamar Burton. He played. Uh, he, he was the original Kunta. Yeah, he was the original Kunta. But then they got um, John Amos. They got John Amos. Yeah, they do. You know, they. they <laughs> the daddy from Good Times. They got the daddy like, from Good Times. Like, that's what he knows. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. So they got, they got the whole cast, you know what I'm saying? And the thing, Roots was five parts. I remember watching it when I was 10. And just getting so mad, and it was interesting because I was at a, I was at a predominantly black school. Shout out to predominantly black schools, and we were talking about we were talking we were talking about slavery, and then we got to the subject of Thomas Jefferson, and then we got to the subject of his family, and then we got to the subject of why Thomas Jefferson's kids look like that, and then they, f <laughs> and then we talked about how that happened and they're like wait a minute the kids figured out we're 10 by the way mm -hmm. the kids put it together like wait so all light-skinned black people are 
possibly mix with white people? Teacher's like, yes. The whole, I mean, there's hold on, hold on. This is my experience, real quick. The whole class paused and pivoted and stared me right in my eyes. They're like, she's one of them. Because you light skin. Mm. Was everybody else like not light skin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, but I've, I, I've I started, had those experiences. It's so funny before. though because they didn't. I think all light skinned people they, they, <laughs> in, in like a group where it's but like it's ten like, people in the room and it's like you might be the only light skinned person in there. Yeah, and that's not oppression to me. That's not oppression because it's like I'm not. Tr- I, I, it's a privilege, you know. It, it's a privilege I don't light, want. Taylor, because look, that's a have, privilege I don't want. I acknowledge ever, my privilege. My, I acknowledge colorism and what it is and what privileges it comes with. So I'm not mad at that. I'm not victimized by that situation. I just want to clarify. Have you ever gotten? Are you, uh, which one of your parents white? None of them. That's the problem. And that that be my thing. It's like I get that. I used to get that as a kid all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. There was, like, but I, I, I chalk that to American history and their lack of teaching the diversity. That's what going back to what I was saying about Black History Month. No matter what, the first thing we always hear is slaves. Right. Y'all were freed. Get over it. Racism is over. Oh my god. <laughs> Not racism is over. I. That's a lie, Cam. That's a lie, oh, and I didn't. I'm, I, I didn't tell it. I didn't tell it. I might tell you a joke, but I'll never tell you a lie, baby. Slavery is alive and well. They're still making license plates in Folsom, and they're still fishing tilapia uh, for Whole Foods. So hey, but some of them motherfuckers in Folsom need to be in there, though. Some of them don't. No, absolutely not. It, Especially for cannabis. Imagine you're in nah, there. Nah, like it's cannabis. Up cannabis is cool, but what about well, like? What it, are you doing it, in jail? It's other people that go to jail for other reasons that that definitely need to be in jail. Oh yeah, but imagine you're in there for like okay i had an o on me and now i'm in here with a straight up that's, murderer. that's different that's <laughs> that, different that's, I would, or somebody who like to touch people or some shit like that you know them niggas need to be locked up oh yeah yeah yeah. of course please but i'm just saying as far as like <laughs> throw away the key i'm just saying as I'm far saying, as like keep them away from everybody else yeah yeah but you don't want to be in there for no cannabis or no unpaid parking tickets that doesn't make any sense but they'll mix us all together all the time i've been to jail for a time scam i know so i'm just letting Damn, you guys know yeah yeah. Um, yeah you beat me i ain't go that many i didn't know i was competing <laughs> <laughs> I, know that I didn't know it was a competition. <laughs> Cat Williams beat me. Yeah, he did. You know what I'm saying? Cat Williams definitely beat me on that one, but he 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 knows his rap sheet though. You know, you don't yeah, want to mess did. with a man that knows their rap sheet and knows what they're willing to go back in for. Yeah. You don't want to mess with that. And man. that's why he so speaks so openly. Yeah, you don't want to mess you with know? that man. It's because it's like he know what he's been through and he already know what's coming. So it's like, all right, right. I'm here. He said I've been to jail 27 times with no felonies. With none. Check that. <laughs> no convictions. Check that. No convictions. But <laughs> a lot of times that's people picking on you too. It's like, well, but you, well what's really the problem? You can tell it, Cat Williams has been picked on his whole life and career, even though he's put so many people on, has the receipts to prove it. And also I want to let everybody know one of the hardest gigs in the world is being a comedian. It yes. is it is not. Yes, it's, it is. I, I'm even thinking to myself, what am I about to get myself into with this this comedy stuff? Uh, anyway, Well, you already started, right? I feel like I started, but it's not. I don't feel like it's official, for some reason. Well, when do you? When would you feel like it's official? When I have that mic in front of me, and I'm not the opener. I'm not. Have the you closer. done any open mics? Uh, I I've attended them. Yes, but I've have attended you performed? them. No, that's what I'm saying. So it's like when I get up there, have my jokes in hand, in hand. Okay, and I and I send my material out into the world. That's when I feel like it would I'd be officially a comedian. Understood. Yeah. Like I won't feel like a firefighter until I put a fire out. Yeah, yeah. I, I could totally Like I could put on the that. uniform all I want, but until I uh, you know, bust that hose on something hot, I I I wouldn't make it official. Yeah. It's just the phrase that you use. That's oh, what made okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, okay. <laughs> So to bring the nutrient density back to our soils, what we can do is compost. Compost is rich. It's rich. And I like to refer to it as black gold because that's what it glistens with. Once you have everything completely broken down, for those that don't know, composting is the practice of collecting food waste, a specific type of food waste, and you're collecting that material, that plant waste material for it to break down into another reusable soil. I have a question. Yes. So I know we've talked about um, composting before mm-hmm. on the show. Yes, we have. Now, um, I don't know if I've asked this question before, but just if you can refresh my memory, uh, how do you compost without getting 
the bugs and all of that extra stuff. Extra like, stuff. how do you get the compost to where it's like, all right, I've been hoarding all this trash kind of yeah. for a minute, you know, to where it's not really an issue with rodents or things like things that like coming that, around. Yes. So conceal is very, very important. So you definitely want a sealed container. Usually I use those hardware, the HDX is really, really thick storage bins to get started. And there is some aeration in there. So if it gets too dry, that can attract ants. So to avoid it getting too dry, you would put some water on your compost. Right. There is one thing though that we cannot avoid, which is the initial fruit flies that we get when the breakdown first happens. Okay, you only have to go through that through a short, very short period if you're going to see through the full breakdown. Now, I wanna let people know, composting is a long process just based on time. It doesn't take a lot of physical effort, effort but it takes a lot of time. So that window between things being first collected and actually being broken down, you can forego that. You can just collect your scraps and take it to a compost collection program and then they redistribute the compost already broken down to you. So there's LA Compost that does that at so many different farmers markets all over Los Angeles, and you can turn in your scraps, they'll take care of the hard part, and then they have the giveaway. So that's one way you can do it. Another way you can do it is you can freeze your scraps. Okay. Okay, you could freeze your scraps until you can get them to the container outside because so, you definitely want the compost. You want the collection is going to happen inside the house regardless. But the breakdown and the retention is going to be you have to pick a site. So do you want it at your house? Do you want the compost to break down at your house or do you want to take it away? Well, before that, like, let's say if we freeze them, right? Do we how will we store those? Do we can we put them in a Ziploc mm -hmm. bag or paper grocery bags? My preferred That's the best. because paper you can just take the bags. whole grocery bag and chuck it. You can chuck it all into the compost collection. Okay. The paper grocery bags. Oh, yes. because that'll decompose too. It'll decompose with it as well. Yes. And they do have the plastic plant. So it's plant. It's plant plastic. It's plant plastic. It's plastic made out of plants. So they do have the plant plastic bags, which are called bio bags, that you can line any trash can with and start your collection. This is the thing about gardening and urban farming and gardening, which I don't care for. It's the stainless steel, all white electronic aesthetically pandering products okay we do not need them to participate in agriculture cam yeah. okay and if that sounds like it pertains to a certain product yes i'm talking about you okay because that makes things inaccessible because they're expensive yeah. all right so we're going to add more nutrients to our soil through the composting that is the plan we're going to create living soil through adding microorganisms that is the plan and then once i get a little more money i'm gonna get some earthworms and then i'm gonna get a little more money and i'm gonna start burning chicken bones so we can make biochar so that's another episode though we have to do a whole episode on biochar cam okay. <laughs> all right Bio next char. next subject moving on how's everybody feeling we good yeah Very everybody good all right now soaking up this game who is speaking of soaking cam some people think the, the, the skin, which is the largest organ on the body, is actually a shield. It's a sponge. We can absorb things through our skin. It's called transdermal absorption, okay? okay. It's called transdermal absorption. You can absorb it trans, uh, transdermally through your skin. So it's the dermis. Sometimes I get a little dry. And what I use to fix that dryness from the outside in is this drink from Leisure Beverage Go. Leisure Hydration, Lavender Blueberry with Marine Magnesium. Rolls right off the tongue. This right, off the <laughs> right off the tongue. This delicious beverage can be found at Hank's Mini Market. Shout out to Hank's Mini Market, everybody. Keep it in the family. Generational wealth with liquor stores is alive and well. And it's more than just a liquor store. It's a community wellness extraordinary Ah, oh, I love Hank's Mini Mark, but that's what I got it. I got Hank's Mini Mark off of Crenshaw and Florence. And this drink has B vitamins, magnesium, and it also has, what is it? Electrolytes. So this is great for soreness, cramping, hangovers, or just being thirsty in life. But when you your physical quenched, thirst or your thirst quenched because i said that backwards that's spoonerizing you can just <laughs> buy one of these spoonerizing is when you uh say a phrase or a word backwards spelling it's this whole thing Damn, I'm learning leisure so leisure hydration <laughs> did we get the shot cam yes we did <laughs>
Yes, we did. Did we get the shot? Drink shot, it. shot them out one more time. Oh, both at the same time. Liquid death and leisure. That's what I'm talking about. Do I have a drinking problem, Cam? No. Nah. Do I have anything on my face, Cam? Nah, you're good. Do I have anything on my face? Yeah, you do. Okay. On the side, right here. There's a little, little, Just a little bit right you just gotta let it drip and trickle. Let them know it's tasty. <laughs> Let them know it tastes good. You can lick it a little bit to get another flavor. <laughs> <laughs> lick it again to get a little taste. You know what I'm saying? Let everybody know what you just been through. <laughs> See, yeah, you got it. That's the comment right there. You oh got my it. God. All right. <laughs> I'm not about to start drinking this glorious Cheeto sauce. Where is it? <laughs> you want me to drink the chili oil too? Uh. I'll, I'll do it. I will do it. I'll chug this. This stuff is delicious. I'm sorry. It was in the. It was our last episode, but it is absolutely delicious. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, <laughs> come on, Cam. Tell me when to stop. All right. And Next topic. And Next subject. Stop. Oh, we gotta do it again because I was. Right. I went off track. Stop. Ooh, the middle. Ooh. We've had this segment for a while, and we're bringing it back into the season. What you should be doing. That's a good segment. But I right. asked, I added something to it, though, Cam. All right, what, what I doing? added what you should be doing and F what you heard. Okay? So I heard this phrase the other day, and I, I do love a paradox. Whew. Forget, forget what you know and remember what you forgot. So... You know, taking in a lot of information at once, which can, which comes, which comes with education. You know, you're sitting there, you're taking in all this information, you're trying to absorb everything. It could be overwhelming. It could be too much. You know, I start giving off sparks and glitching. I don't know about y'all, when I when I get overwhelmed with too much information in one day. So, whew, oh, what you should be doing is not going to be dedicated to gardening. I am highly suggesting that people practice hibernation. Now, I know that's going to sound insane, and I'll talk about the theory later. But I have this theory about our suffering as a species being that we are one of the only mammals, and I know there's more, that don't practice hibernation. Every other bear, everybody else gets nice and fat. They store all their food for the season. They get somewhere nice and cozy to knock out for months until they reemerge and spring is out there for us all to enjoy. As humans, we're out here in the cold, working we have to be awake you know just have all this stuff going on and bill's still coming you got to think about that summer body but that's what I, my, my whole thing about that that's why i said i'll elaborate on another episode about this theory i have and this practice i do is it is not necessary if society was to switch it up because other countries practice siestas we don't where the whole city, the whole town around the same time, shut it down for the day, have dinner with their families around, what, 4 p.m.? Imagine you get to go home to your family at 4 p.m., have a lovely dinner or sit and have a little cafecito, what have you, and then decide if you're going to return and open back up for business or we're just done for the day. Imagine a collective siesta in Los Angeles County. We wouldn't know what to do with ourselves. We'd probably start selling drugs again just because we're bored. It's just a matter of... You never sold drugs, though, Cam. Let me tell everybody that. I'm just going to clarify everybody. She Cam is a yeah. law-abiding citizen. <laughs> oh, my God. Cam is a law-abiding citizen, you guys. He's never done. He's never even, like, split a hair on anybody's head. Cam is a saint. <laughs> but that's what I think you should be doing is just look into it. There's multiple calendars. We go by the Gregorian calendar. There are multiple calendars. I just want to emphasize that. And we are left to constantly be on the grind nonstop. Like society as a whole, like pretty mm -hmm. much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I understand. So, what, what I you're think saying. you should be doing is just look into the possibility of taking on more rest, focusing on your breathing, meditation, grounding exercises, and pausing. It's cold. Yeah. It's cold. And also, we're getting way less sun. So, our energy is low. Like, I think everybody, if everybody fell asleep right now, I wouldn't be surprised because we're tired. We're tired. There's a lot going on. And it's just a matter of we get no pause. We don't. And the pressure is real to constantly perform. 
that is definitely killing us as a species and as a people. But sometimes I think humans can go because we've done enough damage. All right. <laughs> and then also, F What You Heard. So F What You Heard is going to be a new segment on this show where we actually discuss a horrible garden stereotype that you guys need to dismantle right now. The one I'm going to talk about right now is putting aloe vera on everything. I've been seeing that on Instagram. It drives me crazy. Somebody keeps telling these instant Instagram incorrect influencers that you can rub some. So aloe vera is like 7-Up now. Well, medicinally, or, 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 I'm with or, or, it. Or like ginger ale, you know, like like they feel like, you know, that's going to be the remedy. You get a cut or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they're going to put that's it on okay. everything. Yeah. That's okay. But there's a series of Instagram videos going around where people rub two sticks together and put it in a piece of aloe vera and grow more plants. That's not how aloe vera works. Aloe vera but is But did great. it work? No, it's fake. They fake these videos. I'll send you some. It drives me crazy because people send them and tag me all the time. Let me tell you what aloe vera is good for, all right? And then we're moving on. Aloe vera is good for burns, sunscreen. It's good for your skin as a conditioner, and then you wash it out, okay? And aloe vera is good for digestion, also constipation, and heartburn. The plant plug and the plant plug entities are not responsible for anything that you consume. We have no liability on this show, nor do any of our associates and affiliates, if you consume to eat too much aloe vera. Yeah, don't eat too much aloe vera. You can mess yourself. But my whole point is, medicinally, aloe vera is great. But stop with these silly, stupid, pieced together, band-aided up, propagation nightmares because they're not real they're not real they really 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 are not real all right moving on we have two topics left cam and the show's almost over can you believe it oh my goodness i didn't take my jacket off yet hold on let me give you guys a show thank you you're welcome all right two topics you got left come on let's do it all right <clears throat> all right stop Plan of the day. Oh, I do like this segment. I do like this segment so, so, so much. The plan of the day is it's us. We are the plants. We're growing, Kim. And shout out Every to day. who is Nikki for bringing that up in the last episode. We're growing. The community, my people, we're on the verge of a renaissance, a revolution. That's all I'm saying. All right, last topic, Kim. <laughs> We made it. We made it through the show, y'all. We made the show. The show's not over. Don't you, don't, don't you, don't you unplug. Don't you log off. Don't, don't click, you, don't, don't, don't click, click out. Nah. We're not done. The show's not done. We just made it through the show. All right. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Let's see. We talked about current events. We did talk about Cat Williams. We did talk about the weather because at least going through a, a four day storm, things are overflowing, flooding, what happy. Well, what's happening within our community? Because people tend to forget that we're surrounded by amazing, talented individuals and people are always waiting for a celebrity or a savior to not only come save us, but also keep us entertained. And am I not entertaining you? <laughs> like, who do I have to be? Are you and, not entertained? Right. And if I'm not who you want me to be, please set me free because I'm not trying to tap dance for anybody but the Lord. So what's happening with my spectacular community, let me tell you. And we're going to do this in chronological order, Cam. Okay? Congratulations on the studio space, Cam. We are so proud of innovative culture. Thank you. We do. And then also, let's see. Let's do it in order. So you may have saw, you may have saw, you may have saw her. You may have seen her on my last show. So Perry, we all know Perry, right? We all yes. love Perry, right? Do we? So Perry just opened, soft opened her gallery space. She's an artist, by the way, in case anybody doesn't know who she is. I will put the link in bio. Perry and Ren, Ren and Perry, they opened a space. They're doing their grand opening February 26th in Lincoln Heights. It is a gallery space that is going to give you a long, lifelong lasting, lovely experience of art, culture, music, what have you. And it is very QBIPOC friendly. It is very queer black indigenous people of color friendly and it is led by black femmes who i love you i love you guys so much i give you guys money because you're pretty for no reason so that's happening on february 22nd president's day is coming up february 19th cam yes it is oh and so is my birthday my birthday is coming up y'all so moving on what else we got going on oh my god so something that's very near and dear to my heart, I grew up, I grew up on like 94, seven wave Anita Baker R&B. And then when I got older, I started veering towards 
punk, metal, all of that. And there's a lot of alienation. And that's what I'm not with. You know what I'm saying? Like being made fun of because I'm light skin is one thing. I don't, I'm not really here or there with that. But being made fun of and alienated for passions pisses me off. So what happened was as a black alt kid, where do I go and what do I do? There's a solution. It's called Thanks for the Memories by my favorite DJ in the world, other than DJ Punch, is Rose God. DJ Rose God does this amazing night called Thanks for the Memories, which is a black alt emo night. It is the first Friday of every month, so that means the next one is March 1st, because we're going in chronological order, right? Mm -hmm. The next one is March 1st in Hollywood at the Virgil. You can actually meet me there. That's where we're going to be celebrating my birthday. Okay. And it is black alt emo. So I went the other night. We were listening from everything from Ashley Simpson to Hillary Duff to System of a Down to Evanescence to Paramore. And the thing about it is like my heart and my spirit and my soul and 17 year old me, it was just on fire. And I want to thank her. I want to send her so many thank yous to send her so much love for bringing that to life and letting us have a fun, safe space space for us that feel like freaks and geeks to where we can go so shout out to rose god for that i pretty much shout her out on every single episode and i'm gonna do it for the rest of my life oh, man i'm so excited for that next don't you have something coming up cam in march oh yes i do what you got uh, going on march 9th march 9th we're going in order me. cam yeah march 9th we got the uh i revived spring flavor festival going on with chef zaga okay shout um, out chef zaga Bellflower. that's that's gonna be real dope bellflower we, gonna, we got a live band coming out um we're gonna have some performers we got sling johnson coming out the host um it's gonna be you know real in the real black night jesus season. yes black Most jesus is gonna be there yes it's uh y'all got black jesus yeah we did <laughs> what, what, what happened? Y'all got Black Jesus. I can't compete with that. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him around. Yeah, he, um, we he, love Black he, Jesus. He hosted one of our comedy shows that we did before. Um, yeah, definitely real, real good peoples with innovative culture. Um, right on, right on, right yeah, on. Slink is definitely innovating the culture every day. <laughs> yeah, he is. He's 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 he's, he's, yeah, he's slanging talking it. Talking about people, mamas and all. Oh of that. yeah, talking with precision, yeah. with precision. I don't want the smoke, Cam. I just want to <laughs> see Black Jesus and shake his hand. Right on. So, what is the date for that again? Uh, that's March 9th. It's gonna be in Bellflower, California. We okay. got the Eventbrite link up. Anybody, everybody can. Are we gonna say get their tickets now before? You know, you can't really get no tickets. Um, don't show up to the show <laughs> me, you know. Um, just make sure you do what you got to do, handle your business. Because um, right now we adding people on. It's, it's getting bigger and bigger. It's getting time. bigger and bigger. Yeah, and y'all so got a lot of talent. We got a lot, you got a lot of talent. You so got you, talent from the music and the food. Get your ticket Okay, because we need some talented food. <laughs> Can we get some talented food around here? That's all I want is some talented food. Oh, yeah, it. we got some dope food vendors out there. Um, we got some... We got some dope artists that's going to be out there. We got some some desserts and craft vendors and things like that. We got a lot going on, so just make sure everybody come out. Right on. And really I, I heard, word on the curb is that DJ Punch is going to be there. DJ Punch going to be there. We got that DJ man's Major transitions. League coming out there. We got a... Uh, Man, we got the bands. Man, I just I feel like the band thing is really gonna be dope because this is gonna show people a different side of what we do. There's nothing know? like a live band. Nothing like. There's a live nothing band. like and a live seeing band. Seeing those performers perform with that live band, it's it's, it's gonna be a whole different. It's vibe. gonna be next level. It's gonna be yeah. a great experience. We want for everybody. everybody to come out. Um, you know, it's gonna be a family friendly event. You know, so just everybody come out. Make sure you tap in with us. Tap in, y'all. Tap in. I did kind of mess up a little bit, Cam. What happened? We're what not. I have to backpedal again. I gotta get in the time machine. You got something because like, I actually have something before February twenty second. Okay, so what's that? What you got going? February fifth, fifth, one, two, fifth, fifteenth, BBC. That BBC. Wait, wait. BBC wait. LA is having their Kayla party. It's a Kayla day. It is Black Base Collective. Okay. Ba Black Base Collective, the BBC that everybody loves, needs, and knows. <laughs> Are you guys yeah, are you guys okay? That, some nasty are you guys okay? Every time we hear BBC me, LA <laughs> Black like a Base Collective. Search. Oh my goodness. This is a family show. I Cam. Know it is. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that's why when you say BBC, I'm in shock. I'm, I'm in like, shock. <laughs> like I wasn't expecting you to say BBC Collective. Like it's a group of them niggas. <laughs> I just I There is. I'm just saying. There's a big group you know of them. I mean. 
<laughs> there, there is. I'm happy I was able to be here and you know uh, make. Thank, thank you for the this layup, Cam. Yeah, thank show. you for yeah. the layup, Cam. Cam is. The, I'm your comic relief <laughs> yeah. over here on the side. While you already doing comedy, I'm doing extra shit. Yeah, thank you. you know. I appreciate it. <laughs> And shout out, thank you for everybody watching the live here on Instagram. Yeah, we are streaming live on Instagram. We have the technology. <laughs> Black Bees Collective, they're doing their Kayla party. They're doing their first party of the year. Their parties are so amazing. They're so fun. And they and they bring this, this collective of love, safety, vibrance, fantasy, high energy, you know, f fish, everything. They bring it all, the full spectrum, the fluidity of it all to this these amazing club nights that they put together every single year. And I'm so, so passionate about what they do. And they're having their Kayla party. I hope I'm saying that correctly on February 15th. All right, so we're gonna skip. So we got something for the February 15th. We got something for February 22nd. Okay, we got something for March 1st. We got something for March 9th. Last thing, Cam, then we're going to make wrap it up. March 16th, that's my party. The garden party. The South Central Garden Party. We're having our one-year anniversary. South Central Garden Party. If you guys want to know 100% more about the garden party, watch the episode before this one with all the friends and the homegirls. I'm still friends with all those women, by the way. Yeah, they you was at the last party. Yeah. I didn't mess nothing up. Stop scaring them away, y'all. They'll stick around. All right, so South Central Garden Party, right? We do that to bring in and usher in the beauty and the change of every single season. So what season's coming up, Cam? Spring. We will be celebrating? Spring. All right. So link in the bio, tickets on Eventbrite, every single person. There will be music, food, community. I want everybody to come and talk about what they got going on. Oh, this is a place. This is a place to promote what you got going on. This is the place. You can come You can come and promote what you got going on at my parties. I'm the plug. I want you to do plug stuff. Okay? So... Everything I mentioned, all these amazing events will be listed in the description box below if you're on YouTube. It is in my bio if you're on Instagram or TikTok. It might be available on Spotify. I don't know how that works. But you can get access to all these amazing, incredible events. And they're happening near you because local is always the answer, Cam. Local, local is the answer always, always the answer. okay? And gas is, gas got a little cheaper. It went from like seven to four, five recently. Yeah. Is it like some type of election coming up or something? Yeah, he thinks because of the election coming up, they're dropping the prices. Normally, some like be something, happening. Yeah, they're trying to make people a little a little happier collectively. Alcoholism did go up though, <laughs> so whoo, we got plenty to do, Cam. And with that, I will gladly end the first episode of season four of the Plant Plug Podcast. And I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you. Tell Thank everybody you. Uh, where they can find you at once again and where they can tap in with the podcast and all of that good stuff. Woo, man, there's a family of us too, all right? So if you guys aren't following Innovative.Culture already on Instagram, you can also follow them on YouTube. They have their own YouTube channel. How do you think we got here? On YouTube at Innovative Culture as well. well where can you find me? Let me tell you. Other than inside of your bank account, knowing your logins and your socials because you left your passwords out for me to find them, I <laughs> am on YouTube. YouTube at the plant plug LA LA all day that I have to turn that around because it gets flipped right on camera LA LA all day all right plant plug LA on Instagram plant plug Los Angeles on YouTube I'm also on TikTok and you can find me everywhere else you want to be but if you need anything just slide in my DMs plant related questions only and I'll help take care of you Thank you, Cam, again for this amazing episode. Thank you to my amazing audience members. You guys are phenomenal. I welcome other people. If you'd like to join me to sit in on a show and recording, hit me up. And thank you for listening. Please like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you need to do to keep this party going. And I will see you on the next episode, you guys. Peace. Yeah. Uh -huh. See the plant plug, everything is stock, it's organic I don't take much to put a seed inside the planet It's way more about what you do after you plant it It's all a cycle, go and cook a plate and smash it, yeah She got all the needs for your seeds, yeah, yeah